Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'm going to be looking at these Mamba Flashbang LED boards. When I reviewed this Mamba F722 board recently, it comes configured with a load of pads that allows you to connect the Flashbang board onto it. And I thought it would be interesting just to see how easy it is to wire this up and what it looks like. So in the pack you get four of these, they're all fixed together on one PCB, you just break them apart, you get some connectors and some interconnects. So you can daisy chain these, it's quite a nice little feature. Anyway, so let's just get this wired up to the board, get it powered up and see what it looks like. So wiring these up was dead easy and took like two or three minutes. Uh, you just take these wires which have got bearings, solder them in, make sure that you check that you've got them the right way around. These are clearly labelled LED ground 5 volts and so on. I really do like this. And you just simply plug them in and let's turn it on see what we got. Yay, pretty good. So, the two buttons down here, the top one I say is a bootloader, and this bottom one is a multifunction switch. So, if we press that, short press that, it cycles around the colours. Try and keep my hands out of the way. There we go. That's nice and easy. Now, if you long press it, it puts it into flash mode. So these are static at the moment, so it's long press. So now we're in flash mode, and there's so many of these, I had to play around with it just now. But once it's in flash mode, if you then short press, you get the same flash pattern, but you get the different colours. There we go, let's go to blue. So let's see what else we've got, long press. That's just the same thing, but faster, different colours, long press again. What we got here? Okay, so that's one of those chase me ones and change the colours. Oh, I really like these. Oh, that's so good. Long press again. Okay, so you can have different size flashing and different size static. Again, different colours. Okay, so these are just cycling around, aren't they? And we're back to fixed. Now, as it happens, I've actually got another set of these. So let's see if the daisy chaining works. Let me get these connected up. So there we go, that was pretty straightforward. Let's turn this on. Wow. That's awesome. That is so good. You could go mad with this. Now, as it turns out, the F722 board has another set of connections on here these LEDs so you could put another one maybe these could go out on the arms and you could have one down the middle or whatever you wanted to do these are just so cheap I can't remember how much they cost they're like about four pounds or something now the only downside of this board is we look at the baby brother which is the F722 mini this doesn't have the that LED controller on it unfortunately but I'm not usually one for pimping quads up with uh, LEDs and things like that but that's just so good yeah I really like that anyway thanks for watching and if you found that useful give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and if it's your first visit then please consider subscribing to the channel here for updates I'll see you next time. That's just so good.